What's up, everyone? So slot the iPhone spot. So now that we got a uh, uh, our iPad jailbroken, one of the features we were missing on the iPad is that we don't get voice control like the iPod touches and stuff and the iPhone 3GS. But well, now that it's been jailbroken, uh, FunkySpaceMonkey.com has posted a how-to on how to do that, and I'm going to show you guys how for the you know people that aren't that savvy, you know. So, all right, what we're going to do here is you got to um, you can SSH. This requires you to SSH into your into your iPad. So I don't know if you guys are gonna know what that is or anything like that. I don't recommend SSH anymore. I mean, unless you like using those commands and stuff, it's easier to US SSH over USB. Which all you gotta do is connect your USB cable to your computer and use a program to copy files back and forth instead of having to connect through Wi-Fi and you know typing in these numbers, IP address, all that. Nah, none of that. What you need to do is go to Cydia and install AFC2 Add. I've already installed this on my iPad. It's compatible, it works, and it's working just fine. So install AFC2 Add, and then after you do that, you're going to download a program called DiskAid. Google that, or it's going to be here in the, down, in the more information. You can just go directly, download the free trial, or buy uh, I recommend buying it. It's pretty cool, real good program. Um, it lets you access your file system of your iDevice um, and it looks real good it works real good you can get it from Mac and Windows up to you guys after you do that you're gonna pop up you should see a disk A folder just like this um, you go to the root folder and go ahead by the way after installing AFC2 add you're gonna have to restart your iPad so it would so it'll work so just restart it and then we'll be getting to this after you do all that you're gonna go to system library Core Services, you're going to go to springboard.app, and you're going to look for a PLList file. As you can see, I have it right here. It's called K48AP. You're just going to scroll down. You'll probably find it on the very bottom, somewhere in the middle. See, there it is right here. So you're just going to drag and drop this over to your desktop, and then you're going to have to open it with a PLList uh, editor. So I, recommend, I, I use TextMate personally. You guys can use whatever editor you want. Just Google PLList Editor for Windows or for Mac, and you'll find a free program out there. So just open that up, and as you can see, you're going to see all this stuff. You know, all this doesn't really matter. It just tells you all the features you the iPad has. So what you're going to do is push Enter, like put um, the little cursor in front of Dick, and then go ahead and put and push Enter, and you're going to just copy whatever everything you see. You're going to copy this. So you're going to put key that, close it off, and then you're going to put voice-control. And then you're going to close it off with a forward slash before putting key, and then and then shut it. So then you push enter again, and then you're going to copy, you know, as you can see right here, it says key, key, whatever it has, and then true. You're going to, you know, just put true right here too. So we're just going to copy that, true, forward slash, close, and now we're good. So you save that you can file save or command save control save control s um, after saving that you copy this back over so we replace that and you're good to go you should reboot your iPad and you should have working voice control working on the uh, I mean working on the iPad now funky space monkey also dot com also um, kinda said something about you can change the um, the voice when it tells you iPod this, iPod that, you can change it to say iPad instead of iPod. Um, let's see if I remember. After doing that, if you want to do this extra step, you don't have to. You scroll all the way down, go to voice services, plugins, base.vs plugin, and whatever language you're on, you check, I'm, on, I'm English obviously, so you would copy the help strings over and uh, you'd have to open that in a you know similar in a program that opens that I would use Xcode and uh, or yeah yeah Xcode and I would just do this what you need to do right here is just uh, change anything that says iPod to iPad so what you do is let's change an iPod voice control to iPad voice control you do you also change anything that says iPod change it to iPad so let's see what else hmm so 
So we just control S. After changing those things that say iPod, save that, exit it, and, and then copy this help.strings back over. Replace that, and then you can reboot your uh, uh, iPad and stuff. So let me get that done. All right, guys. So now that we did all that, let's try. Let's try and see if it works. You know, let's try to see if uh, the voice control works. I'm gonna hold the home button, and then we're, as you can see, voice control is working. Uh, play songs. Play songs by Lil Wayne. Playing songs by Lil Wayne. And as you can see, voice control is working on the iPad. Great, great find, and uh, another reason to another plus on jailbreaking your iPad. So uh, we'll see you guys next time, and uh, hopefully I can bring you more credits to find uh, for this. You know, tutorial uh, would go to FunkySpaceMonkey.com for uh, you know writing that up, and I just made a video out of it. Uh, see you guys next time.